It's addictive. It's not good for you. They're after your kids. Zuckerberg has actually said he wants to be regulated. You're not going to unseat the billion plus users on Facebook or the hundreds of millions of users on Instagram just by breaking the two things up. Uh, Mr. Benioff, founder, CEO of Salesforce, says it's time to break up Facebook. It's addictive. It's not good for you. They're after your kids. They're running political ads that aren't true, and they're also acquiring other companies and commingling data into theirs. Okay, Mark. <laughs> they're acquiring other companies and commingling. They're basically doing M&A. And he's saying that they shouldn't be allowed to do M&A, like Salesforce doesn't do M&A all the time and commingle data. I mean, that's literally what Salesforce does all the time. Okay, uh, so they're running political ads. I, and I think at the point, because they're now doing that, that they probably should be broken up because they're having an undue influence as the largest social media platform on the planet. Yeah, I think, I think Mark's just trying to make noise because he's marketing this book that he's launching. And I think this comes back to what we've talked a lot about on the show, which is that Zuckerberg has actually said he wants to be regulated. He doesn't want to decide um, what, what content we should be taking down because it's abusive or inappropriate versus where is the violation of free speech. And he's actually asked the FTC and the government to actually help paint those lines for Facebook and others like Facebook. Again, but breaking the companies up isn't going to solve it. I mean, Instagram is massive in its own right. Facebook is massive in its own right. Um, what, and Facebook has come out and said this, look, if you break us up, you're actually going to have to go build all the infrastructure and all the tools to now monitor what's going on in each one of these platforms all over again. And guess what? The tools aren't going to be as good and the ability to monitor and, and, and kind of clean up the content isn't going to be as robust if you now, uh, break this up. So there's still dominant platforms in their own right. You know, you're not going to unseat the billion plus users on Facebook or the hundreds of millions of users on Instagram just by breaking the two things up. If you actually think about it, the integration of Facebook and Instagram, I mean, I, there was definitely some impact, but I don't think that um, Facebook, and, Facebook and Instagram are, are really super tied into one another in the first place, or even for that matter, WhatsApp. So they're actually somewhat independent properties. So I don't see, I mean, yes, they're, I guess they're sharing the data and, and the users and they're trying to spread the users out across, across to the other platforms, but it's not actually that deep of an integration um, as you would think it is as to why there's such outcry from Mr. Benioff here as to why these things are so horrible to be broken up. I think he's really grumpy about the election. Okay, fine. This doesn't solve that. And, the f and whether or not you like the political ads that are running and you're saying that Facebook should now be monitoring what the political ads are, this is a government thing. So, and again, breaking them up doesn't solve it. You need the government to provide regulation about how the platform monitors or silences or vets the content coming from its suppliers. Whether those suppliers are independent content creators or those suppliers or advertisers. That guidance has not come. Facebook's asking for the guidance. It's not being given. Okay, what, oh, let's break them up. Like, that's going to solve it. I don't get it. I don't think... I think Mark is just very emotionally driven on this right now. Hi, this is Alex Mozed. Thanks for joining us on Winner Take All. If you enjoyed the content today, which I bet you did, please comment, subscribe, and definitely message me on Twitter when we're doing live streams. Also, please note, all opinions expressed about stocks or public companies on the show are exactly that, opinions. This is not investment advice. Don't act on it. Wisdom Tree licensed Applico's Platform Insights data product to aid in the creation of the Plat ETF. Thanks for joining us.